Hi everybody, my name is Kevin Doherty and I am here today to show you my family's Jayco Red Hawk. This is a 2017 Jayco Red Hawk 31XL. It's built on the Ford E450 chassis and it is a 32 foot long bunkhouse floor plan camper. The bunkhouse floor plan is one of the hardest floor plans to find out there in the used market. Uh, we were very lucky to find this one in our area. Uh, you sometimes have to drive really far to find these. So if you're in the market for a family RV, this is exactly the unit for you. Let me show you around a little bit. So here on the front, we've got uh, storage. We've got some storage up here. There's a bunch of these little compartments. Some of them are little, some are bigger. Um, if you want to come take a look at it, I'll show you all of them and stuff. It seems a little, uh, little much maybe to put all in the video. Propane controls are in here. We'll go inside and take a look in there in a minute. We've got storage here. Excuse me, jelly bean. We have two large slide outs, some storage underneath there, some storage underneath there. This unit has two large slide outs, which is great because it really expands the room you have inside. Come on around the back here. Okay, uh, we had a spare tire attached there. Now it's just an empty room. We're probably not gonna burden anybody with that. If you buy it, we're gonna take that off. It's got a ladder to go up to the roof so you can do maintenance and stuff. It's got a trailer hitch, which not all RVs come with. This is very handy. It was very important to us because we towed a car on our trip around the country. And if you wanna tow a car around the country like we did or anywhere, we also want to include our car dolly, which we'll show you in a few minutes. All right, this is the largest storage compartment in the outside of the unit. And this is where we uh, stored all of our utilities, hoses. This is a little bit of a mess right now. I apologize about that. We didn't really tidy it up before making the video. But all of our hoses and the camping accessories, electrical accessories and plumbing accessories, we stored all right in there. Uh, one of the best things about this sale that you're probably not going to find with any other camper is what we are selling here is a complete 100% ready to camp package. We are going to include all accessories. We spent the time last year before our massive trip around the country researching, finding all the best accessories and buying them all. We don't need them anymore. We want you to have them. So if you buy our RV, you're going to get all the accessories. You could take it from our yard right here and literally drive to a campground and camp. This thing was ready to go. Let's keep looking. Over here, we've got our electrical outlet. Um, it's got a long wire. Uh, we never had a problem reaching the electrical post in any campsite. Um, it's got an outdoor shower. We use that a couple times. Easy to use as long as you're hooked up to the city water or you've got water in your fresh water tank, you can use that. Uh, here's the other large slide out. This is the living room slide out. Gives you a lot more space. Some more storage down in here. There's a house battery. Um, we didn't spend a lot of time running on battery, so I don't have a ton of experience with it, but it works well. We did, we did some and it works great. Under here is the generator. This is Jelly Bean digging up our lawn while we're trying to talk about this stuff. Um, <laughs> a generator runs in there. The generator is fantastic. Uh, I don't remember the number of hours on it, but it works excellently. We used it all summer long while we were driving to have uh, AC while we were driving. We used it uh, at a couple campsites that didn't have electricity. Fantastic. Um, we put two brand new front tires on this, um, not because they were particularly bad, but um, I just felt a little bit safer with front tires that were brand new on our trip. You'll notice it's sitting up really high right now. That's because the camper is leveled. This camper comes with automatic hydraulic leveling jacks, and that is worth its weight in gold. The fact that when you get to your campsite, all you have to do is push a button and it levels itself right out. Oh my goodness amazing the time saved the energy saved at the end of a long day of driving when you just don't want to be cranking leveling jacks this thing is incredible so you're gonna love that i promise uh right inside the camper here we've got a couple important things number one this is where the controls to the leveling jacks are you literally just hit the power button and hit auto level and in usually within about a minute camper's ready to go all level uh, we've also got controls here for the awning i'm not going to do that now necessarily but we've got a power awning Michelle's gonna bring the camera out and show you in a second. The awning is up here. It's about, I think probably 10 feet wide, maybe maybe eight, I'm not sure exactly. And it comes out probably 
10 feet or so, but really, really handy on a nice hot day to just set up your lawn chair out here. All right, let's start in the cockpit. So this is a Ford E450 truck. It's a V10, which I think is cool because the newer models only come with a V8. Um, it's, uh, we took it all over the country, went up and down the Rockies, and, and we never had any problems with power. Uh, some modifications that we made to the cockpit that I think you'll really like. This is a phone holder and a wireless charger. It's magnetic, so your phone magnets right to it. I loved having that right there. We also added the in-dash radio and GPS nav system, which was awesome. It's got Apple CarPlay. Uh, it's a really, really great system and built in RV GPS because you really can't trust your regular old Google Maps with a vehicle this big and this tall. Uh, this vehicle comes equipped with a rear camera monitor system instead of a rear view mirror, because in this situation, a rear view mirror would be totally useless. The camera was really awesome, uh, especially when you're towing a car, because it points downward quite a bit, so you can see your vehicle on the, on the tow dolly, and, uh, and that was really, really helpful quite a bit. Um, also, for backing into camping spots and stuff, you can really see the back end well. Um, over here next to that, we put in a top of the line dash cam. We researched what the best dash cams were, and that's the one we bought. This one has a forward facing, and then it has this uh, little camera here that goes back into the cab. Um, we use that for our YouTube videos. Um, obviously, if you're not planning on vlogging your adventures, that may or may not be necessary. You could also, if you want, run that all the way to the back to have a rear facing dash cam um, if you wanted to. They, they, you know, they sell wire kits and stuff that are quite a bit longer. Um, I think that's about it for here. Welcome to the inside of our RV. When you come into the RV, we're here in the living room slash dining room slash kitchen. Uh, most Class C's are kind of built the exact same way. Uh, up front, we have the over cab bunk, which has this flipping part of the mattress. So you can sleep on a full queen size bed. We do have a mattress topper to make it a little more comfortable, but it's really pretty good as is. This is pretty handy to get uh, out of the way so you can climb down in and out of the cockpit. The TV's up here on a motorized mount. That's pretty handy. I believe it's a 32 inch, if I remember correctly. Uh, we bought a few HDMI cables for it that run up into this cabinet up here, and uh, we'll include those with the sale. We also uh, purchased an aftermarket ladder. This unit came without ladders for the bunks, and we found that to be kind of a pain to get up in and out of the bed. So we purchased the ladder, cut to length and had the right angle, and it mounts right to these two. Uh, we also put in these broom holders on the wall over there to hold that while you're driving, but that's pretty easy. You put the hooks right in there, and you get up in and out of your bunk pretty easily. It's very handy. Lots of storage here in this room. We use these for groceries, but you've got two big cabinets up here two uh three more big cabinets up here we use one of them for electronics uh this also has one of the only outlets in the camper that runs while you're driving on the inverter which is very very handy uh there's storage underneath the dinette seats the dinette folds into a bed also which is really handy the couch also is a jackknife couch you pick up the front and it slides right out into a bed it looks really pretty all tucked in and nice so i'm not going to do that now uh, we put this couch cover on it um, the couch is in good shape. It has one little uh, problem with the upholstery, a little small tear that was there when we got it. So we put the cover on to make it look nice um, and keep our cat from scratching at it. But uh, it worked well, I think. And we're gonna include that couch cover, obviously. Over here, we've got the kitchen. You've got a three burner range and an oven, microwave oven and a hood. Um, we're gonna include all the accessories you see here. So right, the dish strainer, paper plate holder, uh, these outlet extenders here and all that stuff. Over here, we've got the sink. We installed a paper towel holder that's really handy. Uh, more storage up here and down here. Um, one of the things that we were most happy about that we've done with the camper is an on-demand water heater. Uh, if you're just getting into RVing, Class C RVs come with a six gallon water heater, which was not at all adequate for our five person family to live in here for eight weeks. So we, uh, we spent the money for an on-demand water heater. You will never run out of hot water as long as you are on city water. And, uh, and you have enough propane. Uh, it was wonderful and it worked really, really, really well. Over here, we've got the fridge. Uh, it's a smaller fridge, like an apartment fridge. It's not a full size, not a, you know, a residential fridge and freezer, but it worked well enough for us for five people. Um, it, uh, it, it stays cool, it gets cold enough, it's great. Over here on the wall, we've got the control panel. 
Um, if you're familiar with all with RVs at all, you know all the stuff that's on here. The slides are controlled from here. The water pump tank heaters so that your, uh, your water doesn't freeze in the winter time if you're camping in the winter. Status of your battery. Ours is full right now. And this is also where you turn on your inverter and your generator. The generator is a four kilowatt generator. Um, it is incredibly efficient. It's a really great generator. We ran it a bunch uh, in our preparation time and on our trip. And you can run it while you're driving and have electricity if you want to, if you want your air conditioning running, because air conditioning can't run on batteries in RVs. Uh, that's a, a fact that no one really tells you until you start uh, getting into it. Let's go see the rest of the camper. Back here, we get into the bunk area. Again, our camper did not come with ladders, so this is an addition that we added. It's got two bunks here. They are long enough for an average adult. Um, I know if I was sleeping there, it would be a little bit tight, and I'm not real tall, so they're not for tall people, uh, but our children had no problem sleeping in them. They're comfortable enough, but we did also add mattress toppers um, on each one. So uh, We also added these broom holders here on the wall uh, to have a handy way to store our Swiffer mop and our broom and dustpan. Over here, we've got our pantry storage. Uh, four pantry cabinets that are big enough for everything we brought with us, pretty much. You can take a look over here. Each one is, they're not especially deep, but it's a good amount of space for your kitchen stuff. Next, we'll show you into the bathroom. Go ahead in front of me there, Shell. Camper showers are not especially big, but they're big enough. I'm a pretty big dude, as you can see, and I had no problem showering in there all summer. We added the shower mirror and the soap and conditioner and body wash dispensers. We liked those a lot. We also added a cup holder on the wall over here by the mirror and an outlet extender. And maybe most importantly, we put a child lock on the mirror because this thing flies open when you're driving if you don't. I'm not sure that the people that design RVs really thought about that, but it happened the first day, and so we immediately bought one of those. It's on with 3M strips, so it'll come off easily if you decide you don't like that. Everything we stuck to walls, all those things in the shower and stuff, they're all added with 3M strips, so they should come off easily if you decide you don't want them. We're also going to include this little over-the-door hanger. That's a pretty handy tool for all your shower stuff. Let's close that door. And then we head back into the master bedroom. This mattress was brand new when, when they sold it to us. We bought this, uh, this from a dealer, and there was a brand new mattress in an original package there. Uh, so this mattress has only been slept on uh, for one trip, our, our summer trip last summer. We added a fairly expensive and uh, I think a thick, like a two inch mattress topper to it, and it's really comfortable. We slept there without any problem. You've got storage above the bed, four big cabinets, and then over here, You've got all the storage for all the clothes. This one actually has an outlet in it and antenna or cable TV line. So if you get cable at the campsite, you can run it in there so that you can put a TV in here if you want. That is also the only other outlet that runs on the inverter. So if you are on battery power, you have this outlet here and the one on the TV up front. The other outlets do not. Apparently that's normal in campers, but nobody told us that. I had to learn that on my own. So this is all storage, of course, and then a large wardrobe storage. So between all the storage, our family had no problem getting our clothes and all of our gear in here. We actually had plenty of room uh, to live out of this thing for two months last summer. Under the bed is also a large storage area. Um, it's, you know, it's a little heavy to pick the bed up, but it's totally doable. And it's got like a prop like you do on the hood of your car to hold it up so you can access that storage. There's outlets on both sides by the nightstands. And that's pretty handy. There is a vent here above the bed uh, to help draw hot air out in the summer, uh, get some airflow through. And I think that's about it for right now. All right, folks, so now that you've seen the RV, let's talk about the elephant in the room, the asking price. We are asking well over book value. We are aware of that. The reason we're doing so is because we have a great package deal. Um, <clears throat> we spent all the time, all the energy doing the research and doing the upgrades, and we spent all this money to upgrade and buy a warranty that is transferable. We found a tow dolly. We want to sell all of that as one package deal. Um, so we think that price is worth it. Um, 
if you want to discuss price and which options you would like, you know, the warranty could be canceled if you don't want it. The car dolly doesn't have to come with it. Please give me a call. We can talk about it. Send me a text message. I mean, um, we can talk about it. We could negotiate some of those things away. But I love the idea of selling this, this vehicle to a family that wants to get started in RVing. And that's why we're offering it as a package deal, first and foremost. But it certainly could not be a package deal if you just wanted to buy the RV. So feel free, please, to send me a message. Drop us a line. Uh, we want to get this thing sold. We want to see some family get into RVing and have the amazing experience that we did uh, seeing this great country of ours via RV. So please take a look at our listing. Send me a message. We hope to hear from you soon. Thank you.